Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. Uh, we are looking at a problem that uh, has us manipulate some numbers to within the context of a circle and get some values. So let's let's look at this one. This is coming from uh, CPMs. Uh, this is integrated math two, and this is section eight point four point two. So number ninety five. It says the isoperimetic theorem states that of all the closed figures that can be made on a flat surface with the same perimeter, the circle has the greatest area. Use this fact to answer the questions below. Well, don't get tripped up by this. This is basically just saying, this theorem is saying that if I have a closed figure, meaning if I connect all my uh, sides, and it's, for example, this right here, a square, that's a closed figure, right? Um, a triangle is a closed figure, right? So it's saying that of all the closed figures that can be made up on a flat surface, meaning flat surface is your, your, your two dimensions, right? 2D with the same perimeter, right? If I had the same piece of string making each of these shapes, it says that the circle is the one with the greatest area, right? So, so if I had that same same length each one each of these perimeters were all the same then i took that perimeter and wrapped it around as a circle that would have the greatest area the circle is the greatest area that's what that's saying so let's answer the question it says what is the greatest area that can be enclosed by a loop of string that is 24 centimeters long so what i'm saying now is this loop of string that i've got here that's 24 centimeters uh, long so that represents, that 24 centimeters represents the circumference, right? That is the circumference because it's the perimeter. It's the distance around a circle. So we know that circumference is always equal to 2 pi times the radius. Or you could even say that the circumference is uh, the diameter times pi, which is the same thing, right? Diameter is twice the radius. So that's why I write the 2 pi r. So I'm going to put this equal to that 24, so 2 pi r equals 24, and I just need to solve for r. Well, remember pi is just a constant, so what I can do over here is just divide this side by 2 pi, right? So that gives my r by itself and divide the other side by 2 pi. So um, in my calculator, I just need to determine what that radius is. In this case, it'd be 2 pi, uh, excuse me, 24 divided by um, two, excuse me, two pi. So let's see, divide it by. So we get approximately. So what I have is approximately, and I'm gonna use my little change my symbol there for instead of equals because this is where I'm at now. Approximating, my approximation of R would be three point eight one um, nine eight. We'll say we'll go we'll go that far. So that's my R. That's my radius of that circle, right? With that enclosed string. So it wants to know what is the greatest area. I, I found that radius because I know area is always pi times radius squared, taking the radius and multiplying by itself. So the area for this circle is going to be whatever pi is. I'm going to use 3.14 again, and I'm multiplying that by that 3.8198. And I have to square that, multiply it by itself twice. So I'm going to square that, and then I'm going to multiply that by pi. And so we get, again, approximately, let me do that little symbol. So it's approximately uh, 45.839, so 45.84, we'll say. And it looks like we were dealing with centimeters, so centimeters squared. So there's my answer to the first question, the first part. Second part says, what is the greatest area that can be enclosed by the loop of string? That is 18 pi centimeters. So same same question. Now I'm just dealing with a different value. So, so uh, the distance around this circle is 18 pi, right? All the way around is 18 pi. So once again, circumference is 2 pi r, and I need to find that r so I can find the area. 
So I'm going to put 18 is equal to 2 pi r, because 18 is that circumference. Oop, 18 pi. Forgot the pi part. So it's 18. 18 pi. So I'm going to divide this time again in order to get that r alone. Divide by 2 pi. Now I'm going to have a nicer number. I don't necessarily need my calculator for this one because the radius is going to equal the pi's cancel. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So now the radius is equal to 9. So there, there we can actually get our answer nice and exact. We can actually leave pi in our answer because area, remember, is equal to pi times the radius squared. My radius is r. So the area for this one is going to be uh, 81 pi because I'm going to square the 9, 9 times 9. Right? So I'm going to basically have 9 times 9 times pi, and I can leave my answer in terms of pi, or I can use 3.14 and get the approximate answer. But this is also centimeters squared, so that's the area of this one. All right, here we go.